NASA says that Voyager 1 has become the first man-made object to reach interstellar space, the cold, dark region between stars. Voyager 1, the first human-made object to leave our solar system, has revealed something so unimaginable that it moved Michio Kaku to tears. After decades of silent travel through the cosmic void, Voyager 1 encountered signals and disturbances unlike anything scientists expected. Signals that challenge everything we know about space and intelligence beyond Earth. What did Voyager 1 see out there? Was it an accidental discovery or a message meant for us? Tonight, we dive deep into the story behind this emotional revelation and what it means for humanity's future in the universe. Voyager 2's Silent Journey into the Unknown. Voyager 2 was launched back in 1977, not just as a mission to explore our solar system, but as a bold step into the unknown. This probe was sent to study the outer planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. But its journey didn't end there. After completing its main mission, Voyager 2 kept moving outward, heading beyond the sun's protective bubble called the heliosphere. This bubble is like a shield made by the solar wind and magnetic fields, protecting us from harsh cosmic radiation. Passing through it means stepping into the vast and mysterious space between stars, a place no human-made object had ever been. Crossing the heliopause, the boundary where our sun's influence ends, was a historic moment for Voyager 2. This happened in 2018, decades after its launch. It entered interstellar space, a region filled with cosmic rays and magnetic fields different from what we experience inside the solar system. For years, Voyager 2 sent back steady streams of data, helping scientists better understand the space environment outside our solar bubble. Despite being far from Earth, over 20 billion kilometers away, it continued to perform its role as humanity's eyes and ears in the cosmic ocean. But Voyager 2 is not just any probe. It's old, its systems are fragile, and its instruments are limited. Its cameras were turned off long ago to save power, what it sends back are measurements of particles, magnetic fields, and radiation levels. Scientists expected signals to remain steady, maybe change slowly as it ventured deeper into space. Instead, in early 2025, they noticed something strange, a hidden transmission, unusual and unexplained, that didn't fit any known natural pattern. This wasn't just a glitch, it was a message from the void. As Michio Kaku, the famous physicist, put it, the universe just whispered to us in a way we never imagined. This silent journey had suddenly turned into something much more profound, shaking the scientific community and forcing everyone to rethink what lies beyond our solar system. Transitioning from Voyager 2's incredible journey, the next part dives into the mysterious transmission that stopped the world, signals that were hidden, strange, and deeply unsettling. What did these transmissions reveal and why did they cause such shock? Let's explore. The Hidden Transmission These pulses were eerie. When scientists converted the signals into sound, they heard a low, haunting hum like something alive and watching. It was as if the probe had stumbled upon a cosmic heartbeat, one researcher said. This wasn't just noise or interference. It carried a pattern, a deliberate structure unlike anything naturally produced in space. More disturbing was that Voyager 2 itself seemed to respond. Its course, after drifting outward in a straight line for decades, shifted slightly. The change wasn't random or caused by a malfunction. It looked like a deliberate retreat, as if the spacecraft had been warned away from something unknown and powerful. The thrusters weren't firing and all systems worked perfectly. This subtle, purposeful turn was unprecedented. At first, Mission scientists struggled to understand what the probe was detecting. Was it a new type of cosmic phenomenon? Or was there something else, something artificial, waiting beyond the edge of our solar system? Weeks of analysis ruled out natural causes. The magnetic field distortions and particle fluxes pointed to something engineered, an invisible barrier or warning system reacting to Voyager 2's presence. Michio Kaku reflected on the moment. This transmission isn't just science. It's a cosmic message that says, you are not alone, but don't come closer. The world stopped as experts realized Voyager 2 had triggered a silent alarm in the dark. As the hidden transmission unfolded, the question became more urgent. What was Voyager 2 encountering? 
the following section will explore the unimaginable boundary the probe faced, a vast artificial perimeter, unlike anything we've seen before. What does it mean for humanity? Encountering the unimaginable boundary. Voyager 2's data painted a chilling picture. The probe hadn't just left the solar system. It had come face to face with a boundary unlike any other. Scientists found no dust, no gas, and no background radiation in this area. A clean void within the void. This space wasn't naturally empty. Something had cleared it out, creating a strange, silent zone that was anything but ordinary. The boundary seemed to stretch invisibly across space, bending magnetic fields and altering particle flows in ways that defied current physics. This was no random cloud or empty patch. It was a structure, a kind of perimeter or containment zone. The rhythmic electromagnetic pulses hinted at intelligence, not necessarily living beings, but an advanced force with a purpose. Some scientists began to speculate that this boundary might be a quarantine or warning system designed by a civilization far older and more powerful than ours. It could be there to protect, to deter, or even to trap. Voyager 2's retreat suggested it had crossed a line it wasn't meant to cross, triggering an automatic response. Michio Kaku summed it up. This boundary changes everything. It's a cosmic fence with a purpose beyond our understanding. A reminder that space is not just empty, but carefully guarded. This wasn't just a discovery in space science. It was an existential pivot, forcing humanity to question if we are observed, contained, or even restrained. As Voyager 2 drifts slowly away, its instruments continue to send signals, though the intensity of the disturbance lessens. The silent pulse still echoes in the background, a haunting reminder that the probe touched something unimaginable. What lies beyond this boundary remains unknown, but one thing is clear. Humanity has crossed a threshold into a larger, more complex universe than ever imagined. Next, we'll look deeper into Michio Kaku's emotional response and what this moment means for science and our place in the cosmos. The story is far from over. Michio Kaku's emotional response. The moment the data came in, Michio Kaku, one of the world's leading physicists, didn't just react as a scientist. He broke down in tears. For decades, humanity has pondered the question, are we alone in the universe? Voyager 2's hidden transmission didn't just hint at an answer. It confronted us with an unimaginable reality that shook even the most rational minds. Kaku explained, this is not just a signal, it's a revelation of our vulnerability and curiosity. The emotional weight wasn't about fear alone. It was the profound impact of realizing we might be being watched, or worse, contained. It challenged everything we thought we knew about space. No longer was the vastness a silent void, but a place where intelligence, hidden and vast, exists. Scientists had long debated the Fermi paradox, the puzzling silence despite the vastness of space. Voyager 2's findings suggested the silence wasn't because we are alone, but because something out there is deliberately hiding itself or preventing contact. The universe is not quiet by accident, Kaku said. It's quiet because it wants to be. The reaction wasn't just emotional. It sparked intense reflection in scientific and defense communities worldwide. How do you process evidence that something so advanced and unknowable is monitoring our every step? Michio Kaku's tears symbolized a moment when human curiosity met cosmic mystery and felt the full weight of the unknown. Transitioning from Michio Kaku's emotional reaction, we now turn to the technical nature of the signals. Voyager 2 received pulses that seemed to carry intent and intelligence. What do these signals mean, and why are they so different from anything we've encountered before? Let's dive in. The nature of the signal, decoding the haunting pulse. The signal Voyager 2 detected wasn't random noise. It had a clear pattern, a pulse recurring every 61.2 seconds, each wave slightly different but consistent enough to suggest intention. When scientists converted the signal into sound, they heard a low, haunting hum, almost like a heartbeat or a warning. Experts analyzed the magnetic field distortions and particle bursts tied to the pulse. This wasn't the usual cosmic background. It was structured, rhythmic, and layered. The signal suggested something encoded, a form of communication or a marker placed deliberately in space. 
This is not a message like a radio broadcast, said a leading astrophysicist. It's more like a beacon or a boundary marker, telling anyone who approaches, this is not your place. The technology behind creating such a pulse would be unimaginably advanced, capable of manipulating space-time and magnetic fields over vast distances. Researchers used AI to sift through the data, uncovering subtle modulations hidden within the pulses. These patterns hinted at complexity, perhaps a language or code far beyond human understanding. The scale and format of this communication suggested a form of intelligence not bound by life as we know it. Voyager 2's pulse detection forces us to rethink how we define contact. It's not a handshake or a greeting, but a warning, a silent statement of presence that resonates with a power and mystery we're just beginning to grasp. From decoding the signal's eerie pulse, we now turn to the incredible technology behind this cosmic boundary and what it reveals about the civilization that might have built it. How advanced must they be to create something so vast and precise? The technology behind the boundary. The boundary Voyager of the two. Encountered isn't just a simple fence. It appears to warp magnetic fields and even space-time itself, creating a protective or containment zone this manipulation of fundamental forces is beyond anything humanity has built or even fully theorized. Scientists struggled to explain how this structure could exist. The clean void devoid of dust, gas, and radiation suggested active maintenance. Something was shaping this empty space, holding it stable and altering the environment to a degree we have never seen before. This kind of technology would require an understanding of physics that goes beyond quantum mechanics and general relativity, explained a space physicist. It implies mastery over the vacuum of space itself. If this is the work of an ancient civilization, their capabilities would dwarf anything on Earth by orders of magnitude. The implications are staggering. Such technology could hide entire regions of space, create invisible barriers, or even quarantine something dangerous. It could monitor or enforce limits on who or what can pass. This boundary might be a form of cosmic security system designed to keep the universe safe or to keep others out. For humanity, it's a wake-up call. The universe isn't just a place to explore. It's a place controlled by unknown forces and technology far beyond our own. Moving from technology, we now explore the global response to this discovery. How have scientists, military leaders, and governments reacted to the reality that Voyager 2 crossed a boundary built by an unknown intelligence? Global response. When the data from Voyager 2's unexpected transmission reached Earth, it didn't just make headlines. It triggered confidential meetings in scientific, military, and government circles worldwide. The idea that we had encountered an artificial boundary beyond our solar system was staggering. Leaders faced difficult questions. Was this boundary a threat, a warning, or something protective? Military institutions considered worst-case scenarios. Was this some kind of cosmic defense system designed to keep us away, or worse, to trap something dangerous inside? Scientists debated how to adjust current space exploration plans. Sending probes deeper into interstellar space might no longer be safe or wise without understanding the boundary's purpose. We are entering a new era where exploration comes with caution, said a senior NASA official. At the same time, there was intense pressure about public information. How much should be shared? The world was curious, but governments weighed national security and the risk of global panic. This discovery wasn't just a scientific puzzle. It was a geopolitical event with potentially profound consequences. The ongoing mystery. Voyager 2 continues to drift slowly away from the boundary it encountered, its instruments still sending back data, though the disturbances lessen. The haunting pulse remains faint but persistent, a reminder that whatever lies beyond this line is still out there, watching. Scientists are racing to understand the signal. Advanced AI techniques have uncovered layered modulations in the pulse, hinting at complex coding that could take decades or more to decipher. Yet there's a real possibility we may never fully understand it. Some messages might not be meant for us. This mystery forces humanity to rethink its place in the cosmos. We once believed the edge of our solar system was a milestone on a path to the stars. Now, it feels more like a gate, a line drawn by forces we don't yet comprehend. 
Michio Kaku put it plainly. Voyager 2 showed us that the universe is alive with intelligence and power far beyond our imagination, and it has noticed us. Voyager 2's silent warning reshapes our view of the cosmos forever. What lies beyond this boundary remains unknown, but one thing is clear. We are no longer alone, and the universe has noticed us. Stay curious, stay vigilant, and join us as this story unfolds.